Good morning, HB. Today we're going to go through the OSSLT and what you need to know before writing the test on Wednesday, November 2nd. So on November 2nd, we will have our grade 11 and 12 students who did not previously complete the test and those who were unsuccessful write the test. There are two sessions. Session A will take place at 8.20 and session B will take place after lunch at 12.10. For each session, you do have 60 minutes. However, we are allowing students to have up to double the time, so you can have up to two hours per session. You do need to stay in the, the room for a minimum of 60 minutes, but after you are done, you are able to leave and you can go back to your classroom. The test is comprised of two sessions, so session A and B. There are 33 questions in total, so 31 multiple choice questions and two open response questions. Again, each session is designed to be completed in 60 minutes, but you do have double the time if needed. For session A, you have your real life narrative, an information paragraph and your news report. You'll notice on your news report, you do have one open response question of 100 words that you'll need to write. For session B, you have your dialogue, again, multiple choice questions, and then another open response question. This is your supported opinion paragraph, one of those like should type questions that you'll be answering here. For the OSSLT, you will be using the safe exam browser. Here is just an image of what the icon will look like. On the OSSLT, there are also accessibility features to help you. So take a look at these features, use them, they are there for your advantage. For example, for the listen one, you can plug in your headphones and you can actually have the text read to you if you don't want to read it. This might be very useful for things like the news report. You can also zoom in and out. You can use the line reader. The line reader acts kind of like a ruler and it just helps you follow along with what you're reading. And then depending on your screen preference, there's also a high contrast. Room lists are now posted in the atrium on the office windows. If you don't see your name on the list and you know you're writing for the, this time, please see Ms. Tucker in the main office so she can help you get that sorted. Please do this sooner rather than later, just so we can get that sorted as quickly as possible. What to bring to the test? Bring your best efforts. We want to see you succeed. We want you to be successful and do well on the test. You can bring a water bottle as well as earphones. Okay, they can't be AirPods. They have to be something that actually plugs into the computer. You should not bring a personal electronic device such as your phone or food of any kind. Before you begin, make sure you use the restroom. Make sure you ask any questions. Make sure you're not talking or sharing with others. And just as a reminder, you will not be able to seek help with any questions or answers from your peers or teachers. What this means if, is if you're not sure of an answer or you need uh, clarification or some guidance in terms of how to answer the question, unfortunately, your teachers are not able to help you out with this. Just some strategies. Make sure you read all instructions carefully. This is really important because a lot of students tend to not read the careful question carefully and therefore their answer doesn't correspond with what the question is asking. Make sure you keep track of time. Look for keywords and phrases in the questions. Write the required amount. Answer all questions. Try not to leave anything blank. And always review your answers at the end of the test before submitting. You do have double the time as we've said, so make sure that you're not rushing for any reason. Take the time to edit and review. Here are some links for the online test that your teachers can post on their class site. Again, please complete this online test. You can take a look at how the questions are formatted as well as get used to the accessibility features and kind of play around with them just to see if you think you'll use them on the actual test day. It is a really great tool to use. Finally, if you have any questions, please speak to Ms. Gittens, Ms. Modi, or Ms. Dodd. We wish you all the best of luck, HB, and we hope that you do really, really well.